Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be filming a get ugly with me. It's technically my get unready with me, but like honestly, I'm not that cute without makeup. I am in my warm fuzzy robe. It is winter time here. I woke up and it was negative 13 degrees today, so I'm trying to stay as warm as I possibly can. I feel like Jeffree Star with like a robe on. Do I have millions of dollars in my bank account? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys through my everyday get unready with me situation. This is everything I do when I come home and I want to unwind. I want to take all my makeup off. You guys know sometimes you're sitting there, you want to claw that shit off your face. Girl, this video is for you then. If you like to sleep in your makeup, I mean, bye. We don't need that kind of negativity in our lives. We always start with taking our makeup off with a makeup wipe. And I've loved these for a long time. If you guys are OG subscribers, again, here I always say this, but if you guys are OG subscribers, you guys know I mention these all the time before. And these are the Yes 2 Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. We got some like ASMR going on here. Usually the first step would be to take off my lashes, but I did not wear any today because I didn't want to be like that bitch. I just wanted to be like that bitch. True makeup wearers will know what I'm talking about. So I will just take one towelette and I will just kind of start in circular motions. Oh, here we go. I don't pull too hard around my eye because I am going to go in after, but I just want to get just the majority of the surface layer of makeup off. And this definitely works. I've tried a bunch of them in the past. They have a lot of different scents. And honestly, this one is my favorite. I feel like it's the most wet. There's an acne fighting one. And that one definitely is not as moist. And I feel like I have to use many more like towelettes. I don't think that it gets off as much makeup as I would like it to. So I'm just going to take off half my face so you guys can see. We've got Glam Betty on this side and we've got Sad Sally on this side. And I like to take off a little bit of like the excess mascara, just getting the majority of it off with the first initial wipe. And then I will go in after, but I don't like to pull on my eye area because I'm not trying to get crow's feet and all of that prematurely. I try to preserve my skin as much as I possibly can. So being gentle, especially when taking off your makeup, well, first take off your makeup. Like that's like definitely a big thing. I know a lot of people sleep in their makeup and it makes me want to throw up. Once you have used your makeup wipe, it should look something like this, a little scary, but that honestly does not get everything that is in your pores. And people are like, I take my makeup off every night. Why do I still keep breaking out? And that is because you're using just a makeup wipe and you're not still cleansing your skin. So next step is going to be cleansing and I use the Origins Checks and Balances Cleanser. I have used this for a very long time. I have noticed though, honestly, recently it has been drying me out a little bit more than it used to, um, but that is because my skin has changed a lot being on estrogen. So what I do is I like to dampen my face a little bit. So I will just take my hands and a little bit of water. We got some more ASMR action going on and just wet my face kind of everywhere. I will then take just a probably like a dime size amount on my hand if that's like a dime size. I'll just put a little bit of water in it to make it foam and then I start applying it right on my skin. And this is, oh my god, I love this. This is what's going to get deep down in your skin. This is what's going to cleanse your face of all of that makeup that is in your damn pores, people. I always take it down my neck. I do apply foundation on my neck, so we want to make sure that we are getting everywhere that we had applied our foundation. I like to just take a damp washcloth after this is on my skin, and I will just start to circular motion wipe this away. I love using a washcloth, but I don't press extremely hard. I feel like this does help in the exfoliation process. My skin, just to let you guys know, gets very flushed and it gets very red every time I'm washing my face or I'm even touching my skin. I look hella crazy and this is just honestly the life I live. So the next step is not an everyday step for me. This would be way too harsh on my skin and I just do not want to deal with that at all. So we are going to be exfoliating our skin and we are using this Say I Love You Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. It's limited edition 
and I love this exfoliator. It does have the beads in it, so I do have to be careful, and I did talk about this in a video before. So what I'm going to do is just apply about that much on my finger. I like to just kind of mix in a little bit of water, and I just start going circular motions, not pressing hard at all. I do also like to take this down my neck to exfoliate. You need to exfoliate your skin everywhere. It is winter time. I like to do this probably two to three times a week, just depending. I want my skin to look extremely smooth, and I do use a mattifying foundation, so I don't want there to be dry patches that my foundation is going to stick to. I'm going to take that same washcloth after I had already rinsed it off, and I am just going to start kind of swiping this off. So then I'm just going to take a towel and just towel dry my face. All I do is just kind of pat, pat it dry just to make sure that you don't have any water left over. After all that harsh scrubbing we have done to our skin, we do still want to get the excess eye makeup off. As you guys can see, I still do have a little bit of black around my eye. So what I like to use is the Bioderma Sensi, Sensibio H2O. And I love this. This is the sensitive skin. I love this for taking off my eye makeup. It legitimately removes it so quickly. So I'm just taking it on a cotton swab or a Q-tip, whatever you guys call it. And I will just go right at my lash line. And I will pull downward so I can pull any mascara, any excess lash glue off. But I like to just roll it down instead of sticking it like right on my eye and like pulling up. I'll probably use about like one Q-tip on each eye just to make sure I get everything off. I will also take it underneath my lash line. So as you guys can see between both eyes, this one has absolutely no eye residue, no makeup, no nothing. This one, you can see my lash line is still kind of dark. Underneath my eyes looks like I haven't slept in three days. After we are done stripping the shit out of our skin, we need to apply some moisture. So I'm going to be using this Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend, and I'm going to be using this as my serum. And I put about four or five drops in my hand, and I rub it in between my hands to warm it up. And then what I like to do is just press it into my skin. I don't like to rub. I don't like to swipe. I like to press the serum into my skin. I always make sure never to neglect my neck. And when I do want to apply it to my neck, I will always go in an upward motion. So what I love about this is you can use this as a serum. Um, I like to apply this not in the morning because I am a little bit oily throughout the day. So I do like to only apply this at night after I've just washed my face. They do say that you can mix this in with a moisturizer or um, something before, like in the beginning of the day, you can use it AM or PM. I only like to use it at night just because I like to give myself a little bit of an extra glow at nighttime because that gives my skin the time to absorb it while I'm slumbered away in my sleep. And then I'm going to apply this Intensive Moisturizer by Pixie. It's Pixie Skin Treats Rose Ceramide Cream Intensive Moisturizer. I have been loving this ever since I got it in the mail. Um, as you guys can see, I've literally had it for a week and I've already used that much of it. So there's that. I do not like to apply too much of this. This is a very hydrating moisturizer, so I will just apply probably that much for my whole entire face. I will rub it in my hands, warm it up, and then I do the exact same thing. I apply it to my skin and I, oh my God, it's this rose that smells so good. I really like to boost the collagen in my face too. It's like giving yourself like a mini facial every night. It's literally what I do. But this leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and so moisturized and I love it. I love waking up in the morning and looking at my like really glowy, dewy complexion and being able to apply my makeup over it and it just looks smooth and it looks hydrated and it doesn't look crusty or dry at all. I know that those weren't as many steps as you would see any other normal YouTuber who does like 25 different steps. This is what works for me. As you guys can see, my skin is not even, but my skin is definitely smooth and there's not a lot of texture. 
at all and I do have fairly nice skin it's come a long way so I hope you guys enjoyed getting unready with me don't forget to subscribe that button will be down there click the bell to be notified every time I upload a video and check out my last video I will have that linked right here if you missed it if you did what are you doing I mean I'm gonna need you to keep up on these I know YouTube is slacking I'm letting you guys know when I upload but I'm gonna need y'all to get it together so click that stay on the channel have a couple laughs learn a couple of makeup techniques and I will see you guys all in my next video. Sweet dreams and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.